Ugh. I think Gordo from Lizzie McGuire ever like finger banged her against a wall. Oh, yeah. Al salam, uh, ala kum. That's that's Arabic. Have you ever been to the Arabian Peninsula? We haven't either. We hope you can visit during the day's rolling. Like that's possible. Oh yes, almost forgot. A royal present for the. Damn, I didn't get the present last time. What? I haven't Whoa. gotten any of them yet. Matt, are they hidden? <sighs> yeah, they're just like stuck up on top of things. They're or... stuck up. Yeah, dude. We don't want them. Uh, last night, Chris was watching an episode of uh, The People vs. OJ while I was editing. I, I watched the whole- I binge-watched the whole thing in like two days. I, I, I want to watch it, but he watched like episode eight, so I got some shit spoiled for me. But I-, I It's a real case. Yeah, but I, I kind of got- I had to laugh because the guy was like, We're gonna get him off! When he was talking about OJ, so... Yeah, that's my story. I laughed because a, a lawyer said he was gonna get OJ off, and I imagined a lawyer jerking him off in the courtroom. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're shooting for ten minutes in this one, um, and we gotta get three meters. That's twice the size we had to do last time. Oh, the color of this ball is awesome! I just wish the light blue was white, because then it would be a mix of my two favorite colors. What are your two favorite colors, Ryan? Blue and white. Blue and white? Yeah. That's a great color combination. I wish we could get our apartment, like... I, I wish it wasn't like a lease so we could paint the walls because I'd love to paint. Dude, imagine if our living room was blue. Just like a light just, blue. Let's let's talk to Notch see if we can buy his mansion off of him. Yeah, with all the super mega earnings. Yeah, <laughs> all that good ad revenue. If we put it together, Ryan, if we put our ad revenue together, we can maybe buy Notch's mansion or at least a room in his mansion. We could probably buy a cubic inch of his front lawn. We'll buy the candy room and then lock him out of it. <laughs> Come on, guys. No, nope. we me paid in. for it. We paid for it, Notch. No. Guys. Some Twizzlers. And then finally we let him in and he's like, "I want some Twizzlers." And we start playing <laughs> monkey in the middle and throwing like packs of Twizzlers over him and he's we jumping up and whoa. <laughs> then we start all chasing each other in like a three-man circle just whipping each other with Twizzlers going ha ha ha. <laughs> Man, Notch, you want to do this? Notch, you know. Notch, if, if you want to, this you want to have some Twizzler fun. This is a open invitation us. for us to come to your uh, mansion. We're we're actually inviting ourselves to your mansion, so please accept. Yeah. What what if it was like you could just invite yourself and then? Well, no, people do do that. Never mind. What yeah. if you were so famous, like your house became kind of like a zoo? It's like a public thing you can just pay for and go and it's like, oh wow, just watch celebrities live their lives. Can you do that with Michael Jackson's like Neverland Ranch? I don't know. I feel like there- I feel like there are celebrities' houses, or, not that they live there anymore, but there's like people's houses that you can- you can like go to and pay to see. Getting a shovel, nice. Whoa, I'm already almost a meter. What the hell? If it was nighttime, you'd be getting a shovel at nighttime. It'd be a nighttime shovel. Some would call it Shovel Night. <sighs> that was the best fucking joke I've heard all day! What's that from again? Uh... Brahmin's day off. Oh, fair, yeah. Or as you called it, Big Willie's day off. <laughs> Big Willie's day off. Yeah. And then you confused Will Ferrell with Matthew Broderick. I didn't confuse him. I just said they're kind of like in the, the similar. They're realm. not. <laughs> we, we we talked about this at our live show. They're not similar at all. <laughs> they're both. What the fuck? Did you see that? What? Look at this dude's face. I shouldn't be wasting time. Does but... he have a t bunny tail? No, he's a bunny face. Look, <gasps> he at has me. a bunny tail too. Look at me. Here we go. See that? <laughs> Can you roll them up later? Yeah, we'll like Wait, we are at a zoo, aren't we? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think bear? so. Is that a bear? Right there. Hold on, I gotta pick this guy up. I don't care, is that a bear? Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, Walking around with a bulldog. Can't roll it up. You know what's more terrifying than- I'd rather be attacked by a bear than attacked by a chimpanzee. Because that's fucking terrifying. No, you would not rather be attacked by a bear than a chimpanzee. Are you serious? Yeah, because- uh, people, usually when chimps attack people, they will, they go for like your ligaments, so they'll bite off your fingers, they'll bite off your nose, uh, they'll rip your face off, and then usually they'll bite off your, uh, dick and balls. Like, they just bite it all off. Just, well, bears just punch will just, them off! Bears will, like, just maul you. Uh, bears they'll, will they'll maul just you maul you. you. Yeah, but if have I- Have you seen bear attack pictures, Matt? Dude, have you seen chimp attack pictures? Oh, fuck that. Have you seen that w woman that got attacked by a chimp? She, she was just, I don't know. <laughs> She was just calling it names or something. Are, are you saying she she was egging the chimp on? <laughs> okay, this is fucked up. I feel so bad for that woman. <laughs> she uh she was dealt the short end of the stick with that one. She well, got a face I mean, I think though. people who go into uh kind of taking care of animals, they don't expect it, but they know there are risks. She wasn't taking care of the chimp. Uh she it was her friend's chimp. And the oh. chimp attacked her when she came to go come visit or something. It just like, that's what's scary that about- That makes it even worse. I know. So she was just a friend. 
imagine if one of your friends had a monkey. You're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta come see it. And they've had it for like 10 years. And it's always been so sweet and you can trust it. And then one day it just fucking snaps. I'd never, had a, I'd never have a chimp. I'd have one of those monkeys that they always put in like... That was in like Doctor Doolittle too. A uh, capuchin? Or, yeah, I think that's what they're called. The tiny little uh, the ones that they give French accents to and put little berets on. What? Yeah, they put little berets on. What? Come on! I've never seen that. You, it's it's. How do you give a French accent to a monkey? Does it go like wait? Like how, how does it how does it eek? A, in a, a French? French voice actor voices the monkey. Oh. They don't uh, teach the monkey French. <laughs> they probably could. They could if they wanted. Dude, what if, what if they learned that monkeys could speak? Like, they could learn language, but they can only speak French. What if? I, I, I'll make this one. See? Look at this. I got five minutes left to get three meters. Alright. No, there's a beach over there, man. Oh, I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm just gonna get this stuff over here. I'm gonna roll this guy up. Excuse me, sir. Oh! Okay, knock him over. Roll him up. Roll him up. Oh, go to the beach. Fucked him up, dude. How big does this one have to be? Uh, three meters. See what it says? Yeah, you're so close. Uh, dude, we're gonna- we're gonna make a big catamaran this time. Oh, there's so much stuff on the beach, dude. I just need 50 more centimeters. Oh, shit. Oh, is that a skateboard, dude? Is he skateboarding? Dude, that's a fucking hoverboard! <laughs> Got him! Oh, shit! And his hoverboard. How do you- this dude's surfing in like two inches of water. You can't get those people- you can't get those children that are sunbathing? Where? Where are the sunbathing kids? That's they're, the only time you'll ever hear me say that in my life. They're to the right. To the right. Oh, Okay, I can't get that guy. Stop Fuck. it. I gotta get bigger first. See those two kids? Oh, yeah. I didn't even see them. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. See how this game is fucking creepy sometimes? Like, they're all twitching in there? Hey, there's a takoyaki stand. Alright. Yay! Oh, shit. Got him! No. Dude! I got the bikini girls. Oh, I'm still not my size limit yet. Uh... Look, I got a little snorkel on. In the corner. Aww. Alright. Come here. Rolling you right on up. You still you, you still got a little bit to go. Yeah, I do. You still have four minutes, though. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just gotta find somewhere else with more... <laughs> I wonder if I go up here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I was doing that earlier. I'm drinking a monster. A little I monster that energy. everything bagel. I really had an everything good. bagel, too. Really good. Oh, they're delicious. Ah. <sighs> I watched someone speedrun this game recently for, uh, Games Done Quick, and they did it in, like, 30 minutes. I never thought- I, I don't know, I never went out of my way to watch speedrunning, and then I just went through a big kind of phase, and I it's think fun. it's so fucking interesting and incredible. It's a cool little, like, kind of sport, I guess. I don't know, could you call it, like, a sport in- in some sense, or more yeah, of a- Well, I mean, if gaming is a, can be seen as a sport, then you Yay! Know. Yeah, I- do you think Splatoon is gonna be, uh, Splatoon 2 will, like, break out into the, the eSports market? Didn't you see the commercial? They're all gonna have their own little pads practicing as a team beforehand, and then they're gonna go out and... Look how big I am! You're huge! You're huge! I'm huge, baby! Oh, I can go up here, can't I? Oh, oh dude! Yeah. Kill him! Garden plants. I still got two minutes. Oh, can you jump over that thing, dude? You think I'm gonna get to roll, five? Roll up all those fucking people. Oh, no, yeah. don't go down. I'm not going down. I'm not going down. All right, fuck. That's a. I didn't realize that was a driveway. Oops. Whoops. I'm gonna get off the plane uh, when I get to Japan, and it's gonna look just like this. You're going to Japan? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys know I'm going to Japan? <laughs> Let me tell you again. Oh yeah. I didn't realize how many times I said it. Uh, so <laughs> apparently, I said it a lot. It's a very big thing in your life. I'm just. Ex I'm sorry. I, I. I don't mean to sound like I'm bragging or saying it a lot. I'm just very excited. I'm sorry. I. I. I would think about going to Japan, but plane rides bore me, and I'd go insane. 13-hour plane ride, baby, because I'm going to China first. I need to buy one of those, like, fucking rooms where you just have a bed on the plane, but I, I couldn't afford that. How much? So. That's got to be more than, like, an entire stay in Japan. That's what I'm saying. I, could, I'm not, I can't afford that, so there's just getting to somewhere. I don't know. Just the plane ride is just hell for me. I remember, uh... I, f I think I was on Delta. I don't remember what flight I was on. I was on a plane ride, and uh, like the the person came around with drinks, um, and I was like, "Hey, can I get a can I get a pack of pretzels?" Because you know planes like they always have little pretzels. Yeah. The guy was like, "I'm sorry, sir. We're getting those this summer." And I was like, "What? What do you mean you're like? It's a big debut. You're getting them this summer?" Yeah. Just wait for their next press conference. <laughs> at Guys, we're proud to announce we're finally getting mini pretzels on our flights. 
So something that most planes have had since maybe the 70s. Woo! You made the, the, the uh, thing. Yeah. Fi I made it over two meters and 15 centimeters above the limit. Yay! I mean, above the goal. We have a piano lesson now, so we'll go back to space. Royal Rainbow! The game makes you, like, stop and you have to go learn piano. <laughs> You have to take legitimate piano lessons. And you have to like, it's like a one hour piano lesson. <laughs> and then you have to use microtransactions to pay the teacher an actual $15. Then you got to hook up your USB keyboard to the PlayStation and prove that Do you a took recital. the lessons. At the end of the game, there's a piano recital. Then after uh, the piano recital, you get to play the game more, but you can only use the keyboard afterwards. Look, he's proud of me. That was fantastic. That was so speedy, Gonzalez, and so smart. It will be shooting star like boom. The thing that you collect the most of is vegetables, containers, flowers. All right, we will now release it into the sky. Is it be, gonna be called the vegetable star? Maybe. You know. <laughs> Maybe. Vegetable star. Green star. You were close. Mm. Yo, man. Whoa. 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 That's a green star. It's a comet. That's pretty cool. Cutscene. Ooh. What, what we doing? All right. Looking oh, through. I see it. I see the rocket. Hey, Michiro. That's where dad is. Okay, so their dad is an astronaut, and he's, uh, they flew here to watch the rocket take off that their dad's in. So that's, that's the story so far. All right. Anyway, guys, uh, Fuck.